Hello viewers, today I am going to tell you about the life and contribution of Sadarang and Adarang, the two Khyal composers of the 18th century who gave the new orientation to Khyal form of music and composed hundreds of Khyals during the reign of Muhammad Sharangile, which are still popular. Today is the era of Khyal in Hindustani classical music. In institutional music education, khyals are prescribed in the syllabus in each rag of every class. While teaching to the students, often khyals are taught with the lyrics Sadarangile Muhammad Shah. The students sing these khyal compositions without knowing that these are Sadarang's compositions. And if ever they come to know about the compositions, they are not aware of who Sadarang was. The duo Khyal composers of Sadarang and Adarang fame in the early 18th century composed hundreds of Khyals, some of which are still dominated in Hindustani classical music. Sadarang and Adarang are responsible for giving the new orientation to this form of music. Let's know in detail about these two exponents of Khyal. Early life and music training. Not much information is available about these two exponents of Khyal in the books, but Acharya Braspati and Sulochana Braspati, the great music scholars in their book, Khusro Tansen Tatha Anne Kalakar have enriched us with some information about Sadarang's life. On the basis of the available information, I am portraying the life sketch before you. Sadarang's real name was Niamat Khan, who was son of Parmol Khan, and Khusro Khan was his younger brother. Niamat Khan, alias Sadarang, was born during the time of Aurangzeb's reign, which is in between 1656 to 1707. Sadarang's initial training in music and literature had taken place in the reign of Aurangzeb's son Bahadur Shah I from Tatri Kowal and also from Bengali musician Natwa and some other musicians of that time. Training in literature was done from the great poet of that time named Dev. Sadarang was much honored in Jahadar Shah's Darbar, that is royal court, but he was highly esteemed in Muhammad Shah Rangile's reign. He spent most of his life in the time of Rangile's reign and died too towards the end of his reign. According to Acharya Braspati, Khusro Khan was Sadarang's younger brother and had mastery over many instruments and who is also considered the inventor of sitar instead of Amir Khusro. Adarang, whose real name was Firoz Khan, was Sadarang's nephew, son-in-law and disciple. Whereas Sushila Mishra, a well-known personality in the world of classical music and a prolific writer, mentions in her book, Some Immortals of Hindustani Music, that Adarang was the son of Sadarang. In her words, among Sadarang's contemporaries, one of the more talented and well-known was his son, Adarang, whose real name was Feroz Khan. Sadarang's younger son, Bhupat Khan, assumed the pen name Maharang, whereas Acharya Braspati condemns all this. Anyways, what matters and is worth mentioning here, that is the duo creative genius Sadarang and Adarang had developed their creativity to the full extent in the reign of Emperor Muhammad Shah Rangile. Muhammad Shah, though not was very successful as a ruler in the Indian history, but is always remembered in the music history of India 
for his generous patronage to music and musicians. He will always be remembered through the compositions of Sadarang, who immortalized his royal patron's name by weaving it into his khyal along with his own pseudonym Sadarang. Sushila Mishra writes, Sadarang's khyals invariably contain the phrase Sadarangile Muhammad Shah. It is evident from some of his khyal composition mentioned in the script. Turning of Sadarang. There is a long story behind how Niamat Khan alias Sadarang turned as a khyal composer with the pseudonym Sadarang. The story is like this. It is said Niamat Khan was a great veena player in the court of Muhammad Sharangile. He was one of the direct descendants from Tan Sen's daughter Saraswati Devi and son-in-law Mishri Singh or Nawabat Khan's lineage. Niamat Khan, who later gained the popularity as Sadarang, was an excellent Veenkar, that is Veena player, an accomplished Dhrupad singer and also a gifted composer in the court of Muhammad Sharangile. According to Sushila Mishra, Niamat Khan was initially in the court with the rank of an instrumentalist. It is not irrelevant to mention that in the royal court, an accompanying instrumentalist's role was secondary to the vocalist, who used to sit behind the vocal maestros and used to accompany them in singing. Being the direct descendant of Sangeet Samrat Tan Singh, it hurted the self-respect of Niamat Khan. And one day, he declined to do so. According to another version, as mentioned in Sushila Mishra's book, Muhammad Shah, the emperor once wished to arrange a jugalbandi or a competition between Veena and Sarangi instruments. And this was taken as an insult by Niamat Khan, who refused to follow the emperor's orders. Because in those days, Veena was a respected instrument which was perfect for solo performance, whereas Sarangi was considered only an accompanying instrument, which had no solo status. It is said the refusal of Niamat Khan furied emperor and he ordered Niamat Khan to leave the court and never to be seen in Delhi again. It is said after that incident, Niamat Khan shifted to Lucknow, assumed the new name Sadarang and thus lived in disguise in the cultural city Lucknow for several years. In Lucknow, Sadarang trained his two young disciples Bahadur and Dulla, who were the sons of a Drupad singer who had died an untimely death. His sons were brought to Sadarang for the training in music by the young widow of Dhrupad Singer. Sadarang accepted both of her sons as his disciples and began to train them, not in Dhrupad style, but in his newly created Khyal style. This newly created form had more scope for the embellishments and improvisations in melodic pattern as compared to Dhrupad. Not irrelevant to mention that singing style Dhrupad, which was in vogue those days, had usually four parts, Asthai, Antra, Sanchari and Abhog. Whereas in Sadarang's newly created Dhrupad oriented Khyal form had just two parts, that is Asthai and Antra. The other characteristics of this form were its very clear text, aesthetic presentation and various note patterns. And coming back to Mukhda, that is the first phrase after singing Asthai and Antra and showing some with grace and precision. Thus in this form, musicians had the liberty from the rigidity of Dhrupad and could use the embellishments 
but all within the disciplined framework. According to Sushila Mishra, by creating the Khyal style, Sadarang launched entirely a new era in Hindustani classical music. His Khyals were closer to Dhrupas, but the welcome difference lay in his aesthetic urge to introduce flourishes, trills, tremors, khatkas, murkis, tans, etc. Sadarang's disciples, Bahadur and Dulla, whom he had trained in his new form of singing, were later known as Mia brothers. As their fame spread and reached Delhi Darbar of Emperor Muhammad Shah, he invited them to sing in his court. Muhammad Shah very much impressed by their presentation of the new form of music and became curious to know about their ustad who had created this new form. When Muhammad Shah came to know about their ustad Sadarang and on finding that Sadarang was none else but Niamat Khan of his own darbar whom he had banished many years ago, he felt sorry and employed Sadarang again in his school with full honor. He showered all his praises and gifts on him. Thus, this was the turning of Veena player Niamat Khan to Sadarang, the creator and composer of new singing style, Khyal of Drupad orientation. The Sadarang composed a large number of Khyals in the variety of rags in praise of his patron, Emperor Muhammad Shah and always mentioned his master's name in his compositions, along with his own pen name, Sadarang. The title Shah also was bestowed on the prolific composer and he came to be known as Shah Sadarang. Sadarang's compositions. Sadarang's compositions often oriented human sentiments like joy, sorrow, little tiffs and reconciliations, romanticism as a subject. It is manifested in the lyrics which he composed in Raag Kamod. Kare jane na dungi eri me apne balam ko Kare jane na dungi eri me apne balam ko Chamke bijuri meha barse sada rangile Muhammad Shah and in Raag Darbari Bandhanuma bandhore bandho, bandhanuma bandhore bandho, sab milke malaniya Muhammad Shah pyare ke ghar kaaj, sada rangili tanan so. Sometimes devotional vein is also manifested in his compositions, as it is evident in a khyal in Raag Darbari Kanada. Tum sa nahi kareem rahim hakeem parvadigar and one in Rag Shankara which is set in Jhumra Tal. Adi Mahadev Bheen Bajai Adi Mahadev Bheen Bajai Pai Niyamat Khan Piya Sada Rang Kar. Sadarang compositions are available in a large variety of rags and are composed in different Tals which are mentioned in Pandit Bhat Khandes Kramik Pustik Malika series. His compositions are in Hindi, Braj Bhasha, Urdu, Rajasthani and in Punjabi. One of his Punjabi composition in Raag Paraj is Tolan Mandekar Aya Tolan Mandekar Aya Sada Rangile Muhammad Shah Padpaga Sanu Paya Similarly, in Rajasthani, Itno Joban Par Maan Na Kariye, which is in Raag Bhupali, and in Urdu, Jiske Dil Par Guzri, which is in Raag Bihag, and is set in Teen Tal, and many more compositions in variety of dialects. His most popular khyal, which is in Raag Mia Ke Malhar, and is set in Madhyalay, that is medium tempo, which is Bolare papihara ab ghan garje, 
बोल रे पपीहरा अब घन घर जे ऊन ऊन कर आई बदरिया बरसन लागी सदा रंगीले मोहम्मद शाह दिस ख्याल कॉम्पोजिशन वॉज एडॉप्टेड इन गुड्डी फिल्म एज अ सॉन्ग एंड हैज बिकम एक्सट्रीमली पॉपुलर विद द मासिस इट इज सेड सदा रंग कॉम्पोज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ ख्यालस एंड टॉट टू हिज डिसाइपल्स बट ही हिमसेल्फ नेवर सेंग दिस एंड नॉर ही टॉट एनी वन इन हिज फैमिली हिज लॉयल्टी वॉज एज ए बीन कार एंड ध्रुपद सिंगर अदा रंग कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी टू सदा रंग अदा रंग वॉज वन वेरी टैलेंटेड एंड वेल नोन कंपोजर हुज रियल नेम वॉज फिरोज खान एज स्टेटेड अर्लियर सुशीला मिश्रा कंसिडर्स अदा रंग द सन ऑफ सदा रंग वेर एज आचार्य बृहस्पति कंसिडर्स अदा रंग अ नेफ्यू सन इन लॉ एंड डिसाइपल ऑफ सदा रंग सदा रंग ख्यालस आर टू मैंशन इन पंडित भात खंड क्रमिक पुस्तक मालिका सीरीज इन अदा रंग्स कॉम्पोजिशन द थीम इज मोस्टली फिलोसॉफिकल और रिलीजियस इट इज एविडेंट फ्रॉम ए ख्याल इन राग शुद्ध कल्याण जाको दाता धन दीजे वाको हिम्मत न देत जाको दाता धन दीजे वाको हिम्मत न देत ताको अदा रंग हिम्मत दिए वाको धन न देत इन अदर वेरी पॉपुलर ख्याल कॉम्पोजिशन इन राग मियाँ की मल्हार इज करीम नाम तेरो साहेब सतार दुख दलिद्र दूर कीजे सुख दे हो सबन को अदा रंग बिनती करत सुन ले हो सतार अनदर ख्याल कॉम्पोजिशन विथ फिलोसॉफिकल थीम इन राग देसी इज सांची कहत है अदा रंग ये नदी नाव संजोग सांची कहत है अदा रंग ये नदी नाव संजोग कौन किसी की आवे जावे दाना पानी किस्मत लावे यही कहत सब लोग Other rang also created a new rag, Firoz Khan Itori, after his own name, Firoz Khan. Disciples, except Bahadur and Dulla, Sadar Rang taught his numerous khyals to a large number of his disciples. His disciple Qasim Ali was very favorite of Muhammad Shah Rangile. Amongst Sadar Rang's female disciples was Panna Bai. and kamal bai panna bai was melodious singer and was creator of many raags kamal bai too was an illustrious singer in mohammad shah's court who is said to be never tired of singing the khyals of sadarang in the court for hours together thus she was highly esteemed in the royal court besides them Sadarang's many disciples were from Dhadi and Mirasi families. Among them, the name of Hasan Dhadi is worth mentioning. The information about Sadarang's disciples is based upon Acharya Brahaspati and Sushila Mishra's books. As stated earlier, Sadarang never taught his compositions in his family, that is, in his gharana. It seems from the name Sadarang that it began the tradition of writing rang as a pen name with the composer's name such as Adarang that is Firoz Khan Maharang Sadarang's younger son Bhupat Khan Dilrang Sarsrang Sukhrang and Sabrang that is Bade Gulam Ali Khan etc In Pandit Bhat Khand's Kramik Pustak Malika series there are hundreds of composition which are composed by sadarang adarang manrang harrang and many others while concluding we can say that sadarang and adarang the duo khyal composers of 18th century gave the new orientation to khyal form of music and composed hundreds of khyal during the reign of Muhammad Shah Rangile thank you